Hello friends, today we shall discuss vehicle trajectory. What is the meaning and what are the applications of vehicle trajectory? The trajectory means vehicle location, speed, acceleration as the function of time. And this position may be longitudinal or it may be lateral. This is the output of a complex movement mechanism steered by a driver. अर्थात driver के द्वारा steering wheel का movement किस तरह किया जा रहा है vehicle trajectory इसको indicate करती है and they provide lot of information about the traffic flow and driver behavior. In fact, it is an important information in safety analysis on highways and intersections. Position with time in x direction may give speed, acceleration and headway or space headway of a vehicle and position in the direction perpendicular to longitudinal movement will provide information of steering movement and frequency. Now let me tell you how to read these trajectories and what information these trajectories can give to you. Let us consider this case. A vehicle is moving on a road and this is the time distance diagram of the vehicle. If it is moving at a constant speed, then this will be a straight line. So this is the trajectory of a vehicle moving on a highway at constant speed. Similarly, this one, a vehicle is moving here and then it decides to take a U-turn on this median opening. So if you look at the trajectory, time distance diagram is a straight line. That is the approach speed of this vehicle, which is constant and then it slow downs and takes a U-turn here. So this is the trajectory of the vehicle taking a U-turn at median opening. The third is a vehicle approaches a signal control intersections at speed V, which is constant. And then here it stops, it stops at the stop line. So a vehicle moving at constant speed then suddenly stops here and then when traffic light turns green, it again starts moving and accelerate to the normal speed. So these are the trajectory of three vehicles in different situations. Similarly, if you take time distance diagram of a multiple vehicles. Now here, all these vehicles are moving at same speed because these lines are parallel lines. And you can get many information from these trajectories. Now distance between these two lines on time scale is the time headway. And similarly, distance between these two lines on distance headway is the, on distance axis is the distance headway or spacing between the vehicles. And the space headway divided by time headway gives you the speed of the vehicle. Similarly, you can find out what is the density. Density is number of vehicles in unit length of the road. So at any time t, if you consider the number of vehicles between this trap x1 to x2, you count here 1, 2, 3, 4. So n becomes 4 and x2 minus x1 is some distance and, and it will provide you density on the road. Similarly, you can find out the flow also. Flow is number of vehicles divided by time. So at any location on the road, let us say here x, if you count the number of vehicles between time t1 and time t2, so there are three vehicles. So n is 3, 3 divided by t2 minus t1, that is the flow. So that is how this trajectory can provide you several information. So space mean speed, as I told you, will be the space headway divided by time headway. So that's the slope of this line. And because all vehicles are moving at same speed, so slopes are same. Similarly, if you look at the time space diagram of vehicles moving at different speeds, let us say six vehicles, the trajectory of six vehicles drawn here. Now here, all vehicles are moving at different speeds. Now here also you can get number of information. The speed of each vehicle, mean speed of a stream of six vehicles, time headway between two vehicles and space headway between two vehicles. All these information can be obtained from the trajectory of these vehicles. 
say for example speed of a vehicle is distance upon time so in the case of vehicle number 1 let us say so distance is this vehicle has traveled from 400 to 500 so the distance is 500 minus 400 in a time interval of 10 second 10 minus 0 so speed of this vehicle will be 10 meter per second that is how you can determine speed of each and every vehicle so if you take let us say the speed of vehicle number 3 this vehicle is moving from a distance 100 meter to 500 meter so distance is 500 minus 100 in a time interval of 30 minus 0 that is 13.33 meter per second similarly you can find out the speed of each of these vehicles and then you can find out what is the mean speed so mean speed will be distance upon time for individual vehicle and then divided by 6 so that is 15.72 meter per second or approximately 56 km per hour similarly you can find out what is the time headway and space headway now at any at any distance let us say 450 if you stand here any observer stands at 450 meter from the reference point and this numerator observe the time difference between arrival of two vehicles so first arrival is at 5 second second vehicle will be arriving at let us say 12 second so the time headway between these two vehicles 1 and 2 at this point is 7 seconds and similarly you can find out what is the space headway between these two vehicles at any time let us say t is equal to 5 second because this these lines are not parallel and therefore space headway and time headway will change with the space and time so the time headway between these two vehicles at t is equal to 5 second is around let us say 450 meter minus something like 340 meter so that is 110 meter so at t is equal to 5 if you observe in the space what is the spacing between vehicle 1 and vehicle 2 you will see the spacing 110 meter so these trajectory give you lot of, lot of information about the traffic flow take another case now here you have a signal controlled intersection vehicles are coming from this direction and they stop at the stop line now this is the vehicle let us say at point t1 the position of the vehicle is l1 it is moving at some speed which is constant speed here and at this point it realizes that the traffic signal is red and therefore here it starts decelerating and then it comes to a stop here at this position the stop line when the traffic light turns green it again it starts moving from this point and then accelerate and reaches to the normal speed at this point b now this is the trajectory of a vehicle stopping at a stop control or red light at a signal now this can give you a lot of information now if you extend this line initially point 1 to point 2 if you extend it so on here dotted line and this is the normal condition of the moving vehicle so if you extend it backward the time difference between these two is the control delay and the time actually is spent in stopping behind the stop line that is the stop delay so this is the trajectory of a single vehicle similarly you can draw trajectory of a number of vehicles at signal control intersections so all vehicles this is the first vehicle in the q this is a second vehicle and third vehicle and so on and when traffic light turns green then these all starts moving now the important point to note here in this figure is that these lines are steeper than these lines that means the speed here is lower than the speed in this region so because the vehicles are moving at saturation flow here that is the capacity and therefore their speeds are low now here the spacing between vehicles the on the time scale or on the y scale distance scale is larger than the spacing between vehicles here 
because head b are smaller in this case so the speed is high here but flow is low here the speed is low but flow is high and the flow beyond the stop line when the traffic light turns green is the capacity or what we call the saturation flow again car trajectory on a horizontal curve now this is a horizontal curve and dotted line here indicates the center line of the road and this is the path followed by a car which is shown here by red color now this vehicle you can see how far it is moving from the center line it is because of horizontal curve because of centrifugal force vehicle running off the road or colliding head on with a roadside fixture can be described based on later location characteristics of the vehicle trajectory so this provides a very important information about the movement of the vehicle on horizontal curve that can be used to decide the width or geometry of the curve so in nutshell what i say that trajectory of a vehicle is an output of the driver vehicle road system under the synergistic effects of the driver behavior road geometry vehicle performance and pavement condition pavement condition means friction coefficient and unevenness the trajectory of a vehicle is comprehensively affected by the interaction between the vehicle the driver behavior and the road environment high risk driving behaviors and accident prone road sections can be identified based on relationship between the trajectory and road geometry vehicle trajectory provides a basis for classifying driving behavior and is related to road driving safety now just to further explain this point of driving safety you can have a look at the trajectory of different vehicles on a two lane road again you can find out several parameters of traffic flow here you can find out what the time headway you can find out what is the distance headway between two vehicles and if you if you see here the trajectory of this vehicle is crossing the trajectory of this vehicle so that indicates basically overtaking now these trajectory can also be used to find out what is the accident potential on a road and for that i have made a video on surrogate safety measures i would suggest you to watch that video on surrogate safety measures that will give you a broad idea how these trajectories can be used to determine the safety on a road or an intersection thank you very much for watching this video if you have any question you can write in the comment box